Hello everybody, welcome to lecture 4 of our course Computing Ethics and Society. In this lecture we're gonna uh, continue chapter 2, the privacy, and the topics to be covered here. The first amendment in the uh, US Constitution, expectation of privacy and surveillance technologies. Here is the fourth amendment in the US Constitution. This amendment set the limits on government's right to search the homes, the businesses, the documents, and the personal stuff. But there are two main problems arise from new technologies. The first problem is much of our personal information is no longer safe in our homes. Why? because it resides in huge databases outside our control. The second problem is the new technologies allow the government to search our homes without entering them, our homes without entering them, and search our persons from a distance without our knowledge. New technologies make possible non-invasive but deeply revealing searches. The question here, what restriction should we place on the government use? When should we permit government agencies to use them without a search warrant? Uh, we have here about three cases. Uh, you can go to the book and read it in details uh, it's available on page 63 and 64 so uh, you can go uh, to these pages and get the details about these cases now video surveillance and face recognition the security cameras increased security but on the other hand decreased the privacy. The security cameras can be used uh, by the government on the public areas uh, or can be used on uh, private sectors or inside buildings. The main purpose of this is to increase the security. Let us uh, take an example. England was the first country to set up a large number of cameras, it's about millions of cameras, in public places to determine to, to deter crimes. A study by a British university found a number of abuses by operators of surveillance cameras, including collecting private uh, clips or private videos and showing it to colleagues. So uh, this abuse affect the privacy of people on these uh, public areas. This is in general what here's the end of this lecture and thank you for your watching.